is a re-upload uh, from my other channel. This is Coach Road, last effort in Adelaide, had an absolute blast. Louis is behind me, Dan is in front of me. We absolutely smashed this climb and have such a good time. So, hope you enjoy it, and uh, there we go. And, uh, it was all right, not great. I mean, it, was, it was, wasn't perfect at all. People who came ahead of me had a good win, but I hit good numbs, so I'm happy. So you can see here, go around the corner decently fast. It's good to take him that way, just gain a little bit of speed. And just have a look at how easy it was on the wheel at the beginning. So I just zoomed up to Dan's wheel. I try not to like hold crazy numbers to do it. Um, but I was on his wheel and we're doing like three, like so now it's quite high, but it will go down to like 330 or something. Like suddenly, look, it goes down to like 330. I'm like, hang on, this is way too easy. So I'm like, ah, oh, Dan's clearly not going fast enough. Like, this is rubbish. Like you can see it's quite hard here, but it just didn't seem like super crazy hard on the wheel. I remember just like, thinking like, we should be going faster than this, like what's going on? So I remember that the wattage here started to really like go below 360, that was my aim to hold it. And I was like, what the hell is going on? Like, wh what's he doing? So I was like, oh, well, he must just be suffering. And so I end up going past him, like, look at this, it's like 280 on the wheel, but it's because we're going 15k an hour. When you're 15k an hour, you get a decent like tailwind. Like, so here I come round him, because I'm like, oh, he's clearly not going fast enough. So I pick it up to like 380, 400. But when I come out the wheel, I'm like, hang on, it's actually quite hard. Like, it was really weird, this, because Dan was saying the same, that even though it's pretty steep, you get a real good drop, because we're still going 16 k's an hour, and this is the thing that I think a lot of people don't realise, and I didn't realise, to be honest, that even if you're climbing up a steep wall like this, if you're going over a sort of 15, 16 k's an hour, you get a good drop, like a real good sit, and Dan was like, obviously the watts have come down a little bit, we're just holding like 360, 370 now, um, but even so, like... It, on the wheel, it just seems like too easy, but in retrospect, what I should have done is actually just held his wheel and just trust that he was going the right pace, because I could have saved a lot of energy here. So you see, this is when it really starts to ramp up. Coach Road is a pretty interesting climb. Uh, it's about 2k, 9%, I believe, but that includes some downhills. Um, so the first bit is basically, you go around the corner, and then it's just this steep wall. Um, this bit is like 15%, 13%, goes on for a little bit, and then it flattens, and it has just another like 10 to 12% wall that just goes on forever. Then you get a flat bit, and then you just have this most disgusting 15 to 20% wall that is just like horrible and just like when you sit first seat you're like it can't be that steep like it's crazy and then it's a downhill and then it's a little kick up at the end so anyway tim hedger is the kom he did an 8 oh, oh what was it? 840 i think it was um at 340 watts um but he had a good tail when he weighs about 60 kilos i believe um so a little less than six watts per kilo but the thing is the, the important thing is actually the wattage um just for the first like sort of little bit like eight minutes or so before you get to get on the downhill and i think he held 350 on that night i think i held 360 or something just because the wind or maybe even 370 because the wind wasn't wind wasn't great so you can see here dan's dan's gone on to do a different thing he's doing coach Knox mcbeath and then back to coach which is an absolutely horrible climb um and just like there is a little bit of downhill there but it's still disgusting so here on the flat part i'm starting to really suffer um in terms of holding the same wattage but i knew i was like oh, i'll be all right because we will be able to hold high wattage on this steep bit so lou is now on my wheel and i was like right we're just gonna absolutely rip this up and then get to the top of it have a little rest because it's, it's a little bit flat slash downhill there so i was like have a little rest and then just absolutely rip it up that last wall so that was the plan anyway so we got into the got into my gear uh, i had a 36 32 today because i fit a road link so that was pretty exciting and on the wall that definitely helped quite a lot because uh, it's a real steep wall and you don't because it's it's because it's um it's near the end of the climb you really can be suffering and just having a shocking cadence so you can see it's up to 16 percent. i'm at 80 cadence just holding that 360 just no matter what we're like really crawling along now but i just remember thinking i'm just holding the power about 350 to 360 and just trying to keep it the exact same um and just like just ignoring everything i remember just thinking this is my last effort i just want to absolutely empty the tank here and just just leave nothing on the road, like left nothing left, sorry, give it all out on the road. Um, you can see my heart rate, it's not super high because I try to pace it so I didn't absolutely murder myself on the first, but like, I want to go hard but not completely destroy myself because I knew that it was a long way to go. Um, and the steep wall, you, you almost want to save a little bit just for that so you can sprint up it and gain quite a lot of time and really roll over the top because then there's a fast downhill, you reach 50, 55 k's an hour or whatever. Um, I mean, it's just it's just one of these climbs that just seems to like go on forever. Like this wall, I just remember thinking, oh my god, this is just takes just takes so long to get, and because it's completely straight, you get no like visual respite of looking around and being like, oh, I've actually made some progress. It's literally just horrible wall. Um, if you're gonna climb this, I'd say get the lowest gears you can because that last wall is absolutely disgusting. And even thirty six, thirty two wasn't really, it wasn't really low enough. Maybe I sort of blew up a little bit, so maybe it would have been fine if I paced it and had gone a little bit harder. But even so, I'd I would have preferred a thirty four, thirty two. That would be perfect, um, just because then you, I would have the ideal gearing um, to do it. Like a 34, 32, I'd say is pretty ideal. Um, 
So anyway, you can see it's now starting to fan off, getting below 15%, which is always good. And the speed's starting to pick up a little bit, but you can tell I'm I'm pretty cooked here because we we I'm just like weaving across the road, just like like my handlebars is nowhere straight. I might be out the saddle, but I'm pretty sure I'm just weaving across the road. On often on these efforts when it's a smooth road and it doesn't get too steep, I really just prefer to sit in the saddle and just keep that same gear, same cadence, and just absolutely hold it um, consistent. I think now I get out of the saddle, you can see the cadence is a little bit lower, and the camera is really is flying all over the place. But when there's a steep wall, you sort of have to get out of the saddle just to try and keep get in mental. I don't know, it just seems easier. Um, but often my arms get really tired. I think it's because I don't really have much arm strength. But like on those efforts, my arms are really, really dead. I think it's because my lactate is just going from my legs and my arms are just like, I don't know what happens. But the arms always feel really bad, actually, at the end of those efforts. Almost, not as bad as the legs, but they feel not great. So you can see my heart rate is real get out, getting up there. Max is 201, so we're, we're hurting now. And it's been a good effort. The thing is, I did a 200k ride the day before. Um, so obviously my heart rate is going to be a bit, a bit strange. Um, I did a warm up before I like was pacing Tory up Norton's or whatever in the morning just to try and like get myself really warmed up for this because I knew if I just come straight from the 200k ride my legs would be absolutely cooked. Um, so we're doing a bit of a late night TT about four, well late afternoon four o'clock. I quite like these ones. I generally find like when it gets a bit like later I just really enjoy the um, wattage. Um, the wattage spikes, the wattage just seems to be a bit higher when I'm, when I, when I do it later, I don't really know why, but I just feel, I mean, there's, apparently there's evidence to a testosterone is higher in the evening, but I just definitely feel better, so this now feels flat pretty much, because it's, it's like 4%, and this is where you need to get up to 30k's an hour, Tim Hedger got up to 30k's an hour on this, I'm just flying along, and I, I just couldn't really do that, I was trying to save myself a little bit, and this is when it's just disgusting, can you see that wall ahead, you'll just, it'll just come into focus in about 5 seconds, and you'll just see it, and it's like, and when, you know when Chris Froome lost the yellow jersey in 2017, Tour de France stage 15, I think it was, 16? Oh, it was just like that. It's just like one of those steep walls where it's just like, in Perigude, I think it was, um, just after the cold asthma. And it's just like this horrible wall. Just like genuinely look at it. It's just disgusting. And it goes on for like quite a long time. And if you're fresh, you can just sprint up it. But after doing this app, I was, you can see the water just going down just because I sort of wanted to save myself. And here I think I, I actually lost a couple seconds because I changed gear too early. I should have held this gear a little bit longer. Um, and then said I did a bulk change and then just like end up having carrying no momentum into it So you now see what is ramping up. I'm only doing like 350 360 watts And I remember thinking the end is the top of the wall But it, it's not actually for the segment, but I was thinking just empty yourself at the top of the wall See it's already up to 20% I'm pretty sure it's only gonna get steeper 21 22 Oh my god 23. I'm, nah, I'm not sure it's 23, but it's definitely over 20 you know, 9k an hour, like 60k, and it's at 420 watts, so that's almost 7 watts per kilo for me, um, just, just literally crying on this wall, um, it's disgustingly steep, and I don't really, unless you have like a 42 cassette on the back or something, you're gonna be grinding, um, sub, sub 80, really, I mean, unless you're, unless you're just sprinting it up, like, as a 40 second sprint, but I remember here, just looking at the timing, and just being like, oh, I don't think I'm gonna get it, uh, I really don't think I'm gonna get it, and I was, I really wanted the KOM, and I thought I could get it, but I think, in retrospect, uh, the wind wasn't great, I didn't have a, my tyre was like at 40 PSI or 50 PSI when I measured it, which was just dumb, like, I, that's, I mean, I can use it as an excuse, as like saying why well, I didn't do well, but like, that's 100% my fault, I should have checked the tyre before I went, um, and I probably could have cl cleaned my chain, so I have all these little excuses, but they're all my fault, and I can't really blame anyone else for not getting the KOM, apart from me, uh, okay, I, maybe the wind wasn't perfect, I looked at the wind, Tim Hedger and Max Harley definitely had better wins than me, but even so, I know I could have got it if I just like, I don't know, been a bit and pumped up my tyres and done some other stupid things and maybe gone with a slightly better one. But this is the downhill, so we've got to the top of it and it's absolutely disgusting on that top. So I basically emptied the tank and now I'm just like, <sighs> just really trying to like get my breathing back and just do this sprint. And I remember just like having zero motivation to sprint and like here I should really be out the saddle sprinting as much as I can. But you can see it's just disgusting and the, basically the segment ends just at this house on the left hand side. The road pretty much just here. So I remember sprinting as hard as I can, and then just like I didn't really know where it ended. I thought it might have ended at the top. But you can see it's just it's just like horrible. Like you think you've done one wall, and then it gets back up to twenty percent again, and it's just disgusting because the other wall's really taken out of you. I remember feeling completely dead, but just rolling over the top, and you get this little little kicker at the end. And then when you see that line, that sign, you just know that the pain is all over. And just I was just like literally wandering around, just being like, where am I? What am I doing? And it just hurts so much. Um, so yeah, there you go. Cheers for watching. Um, this I'll probably have another couple of videos um, coming out about Adelaide, but then after that, it'll probably be racing racing footage and some footage from London, which will be not as exciting as here. But anyway, top of Coach Road, beautiful view. Cheers for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.